the stunning voice of Jana Alkazova, lifted by a message from the heart. When people come and they listen to music, they um, something uh, something moves, uh, and when they realize that it is put together with this purpose, I think it serves a meaning. The meaning for Alkazova and the other musicians at this concert is a special one. It's not only to spread their love of music, but also awareness about refugees. My family came to this country from Russia, largely to escape anti-Semitism in the 90s. That experience and the European refugee crisis inspired artistic director and conductor Lydia Yankovskaya to create the Refugee Orchestra Project. The goal is to share the contributions refugees make to society and their continued struggles. Being a refugee is not something specific to one culture, or one color, or one type of person, or one religion. Any of us can be refugees. All the 60 or so musicians performing at this concert outside Washington are friends and relatives of refugees. All the music inspired by refugees and their experiences. My father is actually a Palestinian refugee. Uh, my grandparents, uh, they were re refugees in Jordan. When I had the chance to use my voice to make a change in the world, I really wanted to help out. To illustrate the shared refugee experience, Amal El Shrafi is singing a song reworked by a Jewish Israeli composer and conducted by a Catholic American, John Devlin. Devlin collaborated with Yankovskaya through his group Gourmet Symphony to bring these local musicians together. If you think creatively and get enough people together, you can make a powerful statement for the good. This is the Refugee Orchestra Project's first concert here in Washington, but they've had performances in other U.S. cities and hope to expand in the future. There's no people like show people. The concerts are free, but donations are welcomed, all of it going to local refugee aid agencies. But this is more than about raising funds. It's about changing mindsets. I hope that people come to the concert and see individuals from their community and connect to them and understand that they're just like you and me. It's a sentiment that's already resonated with Erica Clark. It was her first time at one of these concerts and she immediately felt a connection. As a African American, my ancestors came here as slaves. And so that's a little different, but we still have the same type struggles. Our job is to do is to create some magic that communicates with the people in the audience. They feel inspired as a result of what we're doing. Francis Coe, CGTN, Silver Spring, Maryland.